Hey everyone, this is Indra and welcome to my armor and painting tutorial video thing. So uh, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how I make my armor out of uh, craft foam and also how I painted it. I'm going to be using my Tetsukabra uh, armor build as uh, a way to explain how I make things and maybe uh, you can get some ideas from how I've made this thing. The first thing when building any sort of armor set is figuring out the pattern. And when you're making the pattern, you have to figure out how you're going to put it on, how uh, are things going to be closed and everything like that. The more form fitting that an, ar that an armor is, it, there's more chances that it will be a lot more flattering. Not every armor set is like this, but a lot of them are. You don't want to look boxed in. You don't want to look uh, robotic or anything like that. So take those things into consideration. Sometimes it makes sense to take pieces off because you just can't walk or bend or do things properly. So what I did is I used plastic wrap for all the parts that were form fitting. For example, my arm. And then I marked with a permanent marker what I wanted the pattern to look like and then I used that and transferred that to paper. Then once I liked how the paper looked, double checked it, then I transferred that onto my foam. And then I treated the foam however I wanted to. In the case of Tetsukabra, I had pieces that were either painted or with fabric. And what I did is I just sandwiched fabric with uh, on one side and felt on the other. As far as the chest piece goes, it's all attached. Everything is attached and it just laces on the sides. It just got, it just has eyelets on the sides. Uh, the armbands, I just attached them for uh, display purposes, but uh, they're, you know, it's just something that I just slide right on. So that way it's super comfortable and easy to take on and off. And um, the belt piece is just something that just snaps on. And the bracers are two parts. I made it so that it's one part closed and then the other part covers that closure and then it laces it laces on uh, the boot covers are i made them actually which is really cool i actually discovered this while making this costume was to put zippers on the back um i haven't tried it with other mediums besides craft foam so I don't know how well it will work with really tough materials like warbler or any sort of like plastic or any sort of um, tough material like that because I feel like it needs a little bit of a stretch to it and that's the nice thing about craft foam. For any details, raised details or anything, all I would do is I would create a pattern first out of paper and then I would use that same paper to do all the raised designs and just stick stuck it right on top. And I did that in sections as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this helps you. I hope that you're able to use this towards your own armors. And please feel free to uh, comment on or send me emails with whatever uh, tips or whatever you used from my videos. I would love to see. And I hope that this helps you. I hope you look forward to more videos and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.